There's an update available for the a7 III. If you live in Europe, you may have issues with flickering on your sensor. It also covers problems related to the camera overheating, fixes that. Uh, if you're like me and you have a Mac, it was incredibly hard to update this. It was not simple, it was not straightforward, the instructions were not clear, and if you search a7 III firmware update on Google, it takes you to the a7R3 page, and then you try and install that because you think that's the right one, and it's not, and yeah. Anyway, this is just a video of me showing you how I managed to update mine and a little box that you do have to tick and enter your password on your Mac to be able to actually make this work. Otherwise it fails, which is the problem I had and no one was talking about this. So here's a screen capture of me updating it, what you have to do, yeah, that's it. First things first, you need to download two files. I'll link both the files below. One is an applet that allows you to run the update on newer versions of OS X. And then you also need the firmware update itself. If you go into Google and just punch in A7 III firmware update, it's actually gonna take you to the A7R3 update, which is the incorrect one. You need the A7 III one. The A7R3 one will not work and it will fail every time. I'll link them both below. Open up the file, ignore all my epidemic sound music. I have to pick from a lot for my videos. Open the file. Now, here's the big thing. A lot of people weren't talking about clicking on the padlock, they were just clicking open anyway. You have to click the padlock first. Unlock it, it authenticates it, then you click open anyway. If you don't click that padlock, click open anyway, it will not work. Padlock first, enter your password, then click open anyway. Click open. Make sure you connect your camera to your computer at this point, then click OK. The applet's gonna do its thing in the background. Once you've run the applet and did what I just showed you, now run the update. Going to show you here. Connect your camera to your computer. It's going to verify the connection. Click next. It's going to verify your version just to make sure. As you can see here, I'm on version one. I'm going to be updating to version 1.01. .01. There you go. Now it's doing it. The problem people were having before is the fact that they weren't clicking that padlock. For me, I wasn't clicking it. No one was talking about it. And then I figured out, click that padlock, and it works. So that's the big thing that makes it work. Okay, I'm gonna skip ahead because this takes a long time and I think it was like 15 minutes. Make sure you don't pull the USB or turn off the camera from this point. Okay, let's skip ahead. So there we go, easy as that. Click finish and you're good to go. Hopefully that helps. Uh, that's what I managed to do to make it work for me. Maybe it works for you as well. If it does, I don't know, like maybe. Yeah, that's it. All right, see ya.